expecting that you put it where the sun is, it would loosen up to the circle of Jupiter. Cement's really unstable and going to explode. These impacts are among the best blasts of radio energy in the entire universe, making more energy than a billion suns. Are you sorted out for what will happen? Bug crush a colossal red, very Goliath star, and one of the closest stars to Earth has, as of late, gone through a substantial obscuring that has gotten attention and blended sentiments all over the planet. This obscuring has driven to speculation among cosmologists and the public about its expected repercussions. A few specialists believe this astonishing conduct could be a forerunner to an inestimable blast. A devastating event that happens when a star exhausts its nuclear fuel and falls under its own weight, leading to an enormous impact. Such an event raises concerns, not just among regular researchers, but also among the general public, as it suggests inquiries about the possible impact on our own planet. Scarab Juice is a recognizable star grouping, which is easily identifiable in the night sky because of its distinct shape and brilliant stars, also referred to as Alpha Orionis. It holds the title of the most brilliant and largest star in this heavenly body. Late information gathered by NASA's Hubble Space Telescope, alongside observations from various observatories, have shown that dreadful little creature juice encountered a huge mass implantation in 2019. This conduct is surprising for a star of its kind and has ignited interest among stargazers worldwide. While coronal mass discharges are a normal event in our own sun, the rare event seen in scarab juice adds a captivating layer to how we might interpret heavenly life cycles. Furthermore, the elements of gigantic stars, the distance to Messier juice, remains a subject of debate among space experts. Some evaluations suggest it is farther away, while others show it could be as close as 724 light years from Earth. Precisely determining the distances of red very Goliath stars, like Messier little creature juice, is a complicated test due to their enormous size and distinct properties. Frightening little creature juice stands out as one of the most brilliant stars visible in our night sky, boasting a radiance many times greater than that of the sun. However, this massive splendor comes at a colossal cost. Frightening little creature juice consumes its nuclear fuel at an accelerated rate, rushing the inevitable finish of its heavenly light. In the end, the star will exhaust its fuel supply leading to a dramatic breakdown under its own gravitational pull, possibly resulting in a vast explosion that could give birth to a neutron star or even a black hole. If our current astrophysical hypotheses are correct, this raises a significant question. Does Messier juice pose a danger to Earth? If a vast blast were to happen only a couple of hundred light years away from our planet, the consequences could be devastating. The impact of a supernova explosion can release an immense amount of light, potentially approaching that of an entire galaxy. In this way, regardless of whether Messier little creature juice is somewhat far away, like the star Alpha Centauri, the impacts of its inestimable blast could be significant and far-reaching. Strikingly, since the last grandiose blast seen in our own system in 16004, humanity has yet to witness such an event locally. However, a prominent astronomical blast occurred in 1987 in a huge melanic cloud, found 169,000 light years away. While that event had enormous impacts, it posed no direct risk to Earth, serving as a reminder of the scale and potential effects of such astronomical phenomena. The nature of a risk zone surrounding a typical infinite blast is captivating and could have serious ramifications for life on Earth if a cosmic explosion were to happen nearby. However, it's important to understand that in the vast galactic scene, nearby cosmic explosions are relatively small events compared to gamma-ray bursts, which are far more powerful and pose a different kind of threat. Gamma-ray bursts can have devastating effects, capable of destroying biospheres and soaking planets with lethal radiation. For instance, a specific type of astronomical burst can lead to the destruction of a planet's ozone layer leaving it vulnerable to the harsh radiation of space long after the impact has occurred. This potential was highlighted in a recent study that illustrated new risks associated with massive stars that end their lives in such a spectacular way. When massive stars explode in a cosmic event, they can reach some of the brightest radiances known in the universe. In fact, the brilliance of a single cosmic explosion can outshine the combined brilliance of billions of stars. This raises the question of what the consequences would be if Messier juice were to go through such an explosion. 
If a cosmic explosion were to occur, Messier juice would become the second most brilliant object in our sky after the sun, even during daylight hours. Despite the distance separating it from us, Messier juice, which shines brighter than a full moon, would become visible even in daylight. The sheer power of the blast would create a spectacle so stunning that shadows would be cast even in complete darkness. Such a scene would be both awe-inspiring and unnerving, showcasing the raw power of cosmic events. While the visible light produced by a cosmic explosion is indeed dazzling, it is only a fraction of the total energy released during such an event. Although high levels of visible light can cause temporary visual impairment, the greater concern lies in the high-energy radiation emitted alongside the visible light. This radiation frequently appears as X-rays and gamma rays, which can have wide-ranging effects. One of the primary dangers presented by this high-energy radiation is its ability to catalyze the depletion of the ozone layer that protects our planet from harmful solar radiation. Without an effective ozone layer, life on Earth's surface would be exposed to extreme ultraviolet radiation from the sun, potentially leading to mass extinction events. The immediate repercussions of a cosmic explosion present imminent dangers. However, over the long term, cosmic rays and subatomic particles traveling at near-light speeds begin to infiltrate the nearby planetary system. These massive beams can deplete ozone layers and coat Earth's surface with harmful radiation, exacerbating the risks posed by the initial blast. Moreover, these cosmic rays carry a significant portion of the total energy released by the cosmic explosion. Their long-term effects could persist for many years. There is evidence suggesting that such events might have impacted Earth in the past. For instance, elevated levels of iron-60, a radioactive isotope produced in supernovae, have been found in seafloor silt and lunar regolith. This finding suggests that Earth might have been affected by cosmic explosion ejecta in fairly recent geological history, possibly within the last few million years. Cosmologists have recently concluded that there are currently no nearby cosmic explosion candidates that pose an immediate threat to life on Earth, based on what we know about the risks associated with gamma rays and cosmic rays. However, ongoing research has uncovered new potential threats linked to specific types of gamma ray bursts. These gamma ray bursts can produce long range deadly radiation, which represents a greater risk to planets like ours. The mechanism behind this involves a star nearing the end of its life being surrounded by a substantial disk of material. When the cosmic explosion happens, a shockwave is generated, striking this disk and causing it to become incredibly hot. This, in turn, generates a large amount of high energy X ray radiation that can travel vast distances through space. The brightest X-ray supernovae have the potential to deplete a planet's ozone layer by as much as half, creating conditions that could trigger an extinction event within about 150 light years. Fortunately, no such supernovae candidates have been identified in the immediate vicinity of Earth. However, this research has led to new insights regarding the habitable zone, the region within galaxies where conditions are favorable for life. These findings suggest that the habitable zone may be subject to additional constraints. Specifically, the outer regions of a galaxy may not have enough star formation activity to produce the elements necessary for the formation of rocky planets. Meanwhile, the inner areas, where stars form and die at a faster rate, pose their own dangers. Ongoing cosmic explosion events in these regions can illuminate the surrounding space, increasing the risks for any potential life that might exist there. New research shows that the inner boundary of the large habitable zone might be farther from the galactic center than previously thought, reshaping our understanding of where life might indeed thrive. So, what will the Messier juice cosmic explosion look like from Earth? While Earth's biosphere will likely remain unaffected, the actual display will be impossible to ignore. According to experts, Messier juice will continue to shine brightly for over 90 days following its explosion reaching a radiance equivalent to a portion of that of the moon, several times fainter than a full moon. Essentially, it will appear as a brilliant point overhead, visible even during the day. Its striking brightness will captivate anyone who looks up, casting shadows even at night. This extraordinary celestial event will undoubtedly be a source of interest for people on Earth, as the cosmic explosion remains visible to the naked eye for several months. Its remnants will gradually fade, but researchers continue to study Messier juice to learn more about the life cycle of massive stars, 
and the processes that lead to their violent ends. Understanding these immense phenomena is essential for gaining insights into the evolution of our galaxy and the creation of elements during a cosmic explosion. Not only is visible light released, but a vast array of heavy elements like gold, silver, and uranium are forged in the intense heat and pressure of the explosion. This process, known as nucleosynthesis, plays a crucial role in enriching the interstellar medium with the building blocks necessary for future star and planet formation. Interestingly, the remnants of a cosmic explosion, known as a cosmic explosion remnant, can become a celestial nursery where new stars are born from the dust and gas ejected during the blast. This recurrent process highlights the interconnectedness of cosmic events and their profound impact on the fabric of the universe. As the remnants of such an explosion gradually disperse into the interstellar medium, they begin to mix with the surrounding gas and dust, enriching it with heavy elements like carbon, oxygen, and iron. These elements, once created in the cores of massive stars, are vital for the formation of new stars, planets, and even life itself. Over millions of years, the shock waves from the explosion can trigger the collapse of nearby clouds of gas and dust, initiating the birth of new stars and planetary systems. This process is part of the cosmic cycle of birth and death that governs the evolution of galaxies. The creation of heavy elements during a supernova is particularly important for life on Earth. Elements like gold, silver, and uranium are essential for various biological and technological processes. These elements were formed in the cores of stars that ended their lives in a spectacular explosion. The metals that we find in our jewelry, the materials used to build our technologies, and even the atoms that make up our bodies were all once forged in the hearts of stars. Moreover, cosmic explosions contribute to the distribution of these elements across vast regions of space, ensuring that they are available for future generations of stars and planets. In a sense, the death of a star gives rise to the potential for new life. This cycle of star birth and death is a key component of the larger narrative of cosmic evolution, shaping the structure and composition of galaxies and planetary systems, including our own. Interestingly, these explosions do more than just create new stars and planets. They also contribute to the formation of complex structures within galaxies. For instance, the energy released during a supernova can compress nearby gas clouds, triggering the formation of new stars. At the same time, the explosion sends shockwaves through the surrounding medium, creating nebulae and other structures that are visible to us as stunning cosmic formations. These nebulae, composed of gas and dust, are the building blocks for future stars and planets, continuing the cycle of stellar evolution. In the long term, the study of cosmic explosions provides valuable insights into the life cycle of stars, the creation of elements, and the formation of galaxies. By observing distant supernovae and analyzing the remnants of past explosions, astronomers can learn more about the processes that govern the evolution of the universe. In fact, some of the most significant discoveries in modern astrophysics, such as the discovery of dark energy and the acceleration of the universe's expansion, were made through the study of distant supernovae. In conclusion, while the potential for a nearby cosmic explosion like that of Messier Juice might seem alarming, it also offers a fascinating glimpse into the dynamic and ever-evolving nature of the universe. The death of massive stars and the resulting explosions not only shape the structure of galaxies, but also provide the raw materials necessary for the formation of new stars, planets, and life itself. These cosmic events remind us of the vastness and interconnectedness of the cosmos, where even the most catastrophic events can give rise to the conditions for new beginnings. Thus, while the spectacle of a supernova would undoubtedly be awe-inspiring, it is also a testament to the ongoing cycles of creation and destruction that define the universe. Each explosion, each death of a star, leads to the possibility of new life and the formation of the building blocks for the next generation of stars and planets. As we continue to study these cosmic events, we gain a deeper understanding of the forces that shape the universe, as well as our own place within it.